Hello everyone. A very good evening to all. I hope you all are amazing and preparing well for your examination. I am Parul, your mentor for both RBI and SEBI examination. In today's video, we are not going to solve another answer. I believe you have done so many answer writing videos that you have an idea how to write an answer well. However, in today's video, I am introducing another way of doing a question, which is case study. If you are preparing specifically for RBA grade B examination, you must be familiar with the case studies. Right? And I am solving one of the case studies in today's class in front of all of you. But before we do, do that, I have few things which I would like to clarify. First, in order to solve any case study, it is imperative to have conceptual clarity with respect to the topic. If you don't know well, you will not able to write well. The second, some of you might say, ma'am, this is a very long case study and generally RBI does not ask these long case studies in the examination. Then my answer would be, I know, but as a mentor, as a teacher, it's my responsibility to prepare you well for the worst case scenario, right? We have to prepare so well that if there is no question in the exam, we will attempt every question and that will be done correctly. Without a further ado, let's solve the case study directly. I have picked one of the most important chapters of your preparation called the organizational change. As I said in my last videos, there are certain topics which are absolutely favorite of RBI. If I say communication, leadership, motivation, and now organizational change. Let's read the case study now. Mr. Kamal Nayan joined office manager. All right, joined as office manager in one of the offices situated in Mumbai. After coming back from the USA, from where he got his MBA degree with a specialization in personal management. He was young energetic and believe in results by reading this particular line we got to know what kind of person mr kamal is and he is young he is energetic and he believes in results all right before proceeding to the usa he had several years of experience in india in different capacities this point is saying that before he went to the usa to complete his mba he was working in india only when Mr. Nayan joined this particular company, its office time was 10.30 a.m. to 5.30 p.m. All right. He felt that the timing should be changed to 10 a.m. to 5 p.m. Because now from this statement, we are understanding why he took this decision. He knew that office personnel in the USA did not work after 5 p.m. So he thought of introducing the same timing in India as well. And he did that and he announced officially in the company. Let's see what happened after that. All right. And this is the case study. Okay. Now the second sentence of the paragraph says, no one reacted initially, but after two days, Mr. Nayan received a written memorandum from office personnel that office timing should be restored. This particular sentence clearly states that employees of the organization are not very happy with the Timing. All right. They want their timing to back from 10.30 a.m. to 5.30 p.m. only. Mr. Nayan did not yield to this demand. However, he was convinced that the first step was to build a cooperative spirit among his employee through informal get together. Now he understood one thing that employees are not obeying his commands. That is why he wants to build an informal relationship with that. And how he does that? Let us understand by reading the case study further. Therefore, he prepared a scheme of having a monthly dinner party for all the members of the office. And he encouraged every member to attend the dinner party with his or her family members so that the scheme becomes more successful. All right. Now, let us understand the question further. All right. The scheme announced by 
प्लेसिंग ऑन द इन्फॉर्मेशन बुलेटिन ऑफ द कंपनी अगेन ही डज दैट वो वहां पे जाके लगा देता है कि आई एम प्लानिंग दिस थिंग एंड सजेशन आर वेलकम ओके टू वीक्स इलाप्स एंड नो सजेशन केम One more occasion when the day was nearing for the first dinner, he overheard some conversations. And what were those conversations? First employee says, "So what are you bringing for the party? As for myself, I will be bringing bhel puri." On which second employee replies, "I will bring chana," and they both laugh so hard. Right? So it is clearly visible that they are talking in a sarcastic way. Mr. Nayan felt that the nobody seemed to be concerned about his scheme. All right. I hope you understood the case study. I am exp. I am repeating whatever I have just read in a one minute. Uh, in a minute again. So there was a person who came from USA, working in India. He introduced some change in the organization without even considering the opinions and suggestions of the subordinates. And the employees now not very happy with the changes. He is also trying to develop some interpersonal relationship with the subordinates, and he is being unsuccess unsuccessful at that too. Okay, I hope you understood the question. Now understand the questions related to the case study. What were the reasons for not supporting the actions of Mr. Nayan by his employees? We all know the first reason. Can any one of you tell me the first reason? I'll tell you, beta. The first reason is there were no decision-making participation. There were no decision-making participation by the subordinates. He did not invite any suggestions and opinions of the. superiors or maybe subordinates and he took his decision because he wanted to take this decision so what mr kamal did he just enforced those changes upon them and we human being we do not like to be directed we want to be included in the practices and policies of the company in the decision making of the company we want to be feel included but here in this case study mr kamal clearly did not do any of those things second thing which he did was cultural aspect if one thing is successful in the usa it does not make it successful in other countries as well if the company had decided the timing from 10:30 am to 5:30 pm only it must have considered the factors related to those timings here mr kamal needs to understand the reason behind the timing he cannot just give a uh, a lame reason you know before introducing any change in the organization the reason has to be strong and in the benefit of the company and its employees the third reason which is equally important just like the above two union leaders he does not take into consideration the suggestions and opinions here like subordinates the key people as well and we all know the importance of union leaders in the organization because union leaders are the favorite among many people you right so agar union leaders se agree kar jayenge changes accept karne ke liye to wo bhi followers hi unke agree karenge i know apart from these three reasons there could be n number of reasons as well and if you feel like ma'am ye bhi reason ho sakta hai feel free to write in the comment section below now let's move forward with the second question and the second question states advice just a sec advise mr nayan how he should proceed in the matter all right so here the employees are resisting to change and we have to give advice to mr kamal now what can he do so indirectly this particular question is highlighting another important concept of this particular chapter and the name of the topic is resistance to change how to overcome resistance to change so the first reason is affective communication the first reason is affective communication mr kamal has to communicate effectively about the proposed change in the organization to its employees working there and has to tell 
why is he bringing change in the organization and what are the benefits of bringing change in the organization he cannot merely takes the decision because in his the decision is right in his eyes all right the second thing which he can do of course which we already discussed union leaders he can take the support of union leaders and can persuade them to implement the changes in the organization all right the third thing which we have is facilitation and support facilitation and support by giving them support and assurance that yes your opinions and your ideas will be getting heard here please tell us what are you bothering of ek unka relationship bhi acha develop ho sakta hai the fourth reason could be the fourth reason could be by giving them uh, incentives by giving them incentives both financial as well as non financial incentive in order to encourage them to accept the changes all right i hope you are getting my point next we have some of the more techniques in order to overcome the resistance of change and one of them is negotiation one of them is negotiation in negotiation a company always tries to involve win win situation in the company it means to choose a path which is good for the employees as well as for the management as well and here if i keep myself limited to the organization only it should be for the benefit of organization all right i mean the company last but it's a worst case scenario which a company should try to avoid but if situation demands karna chahiye that is force them to adapt the changes by giving them punishments but again as i said earlier a company ko avoid karna chahiye but a true leader an effective leader knows what kind of leadership demands the situation is asking all right i hope these things are clear to you and if you have any more suggestions for mr nayan please do write in the comment section below all right in addition to the concept which i have just told you there is one more concept which was introduced by none another than kurt lewin he introduced a concept of plan change he introduced the concept of plan change in the organization you know he was very well aware about the psychology of the employees he knows that human is uncomfortable with the changes and that is why it is the one of the reasons one of the biggest reasons an employee or maybe a person avoids changes in in his or her day to day life so what suggest to bring gradual change in the organization do not take do not change anything completely and in order to do that he tells us three stages all right the first stage is refreezing i'm so sorry the first stage is unfreezing let me take the eraser please give me a moment the first stage is unfreeze all right the second stage which we have is change the third stage which we have is refreeze the first stage states that the management should try to make under make them understand how is it important to introduce change in the organization and what benefits an organization brings if it introduce change in the organization to the subordinate so in short क्यों चेंज ला रहे हैं और क्या उसके बेनिफिट्स हैं इन एडिशन टू दैट इट इज आल्सो इम्पोर्टेंट हेयर इन द फर्स्ट स्टेज ओनली टू चेंज द ओल्ड कंसेप्ट एंड द परसेप्शन एंड द बिहेवियर्स एंड इट इज द रिस्पॉन्सिबिलिटी ऑफ द मैनेजर टू मेक देम अंडरस्टैंड that these behaviors and perceptions what you are having now not appropriate for a modern organization and it is important to change them now tell them the benefit tell them the benefit guys all right so they have to unlearn the things which they have learned in the past so that they can have a space to learn something new which is more appropriate according to the modern world in the second stage 
the manager introduces or implement the changes in the organization simple no more confusion third stage is refreeze it means in the third stage it is the responsibility of a manager i'm repeating again it is the responsibility of a manager to make sure whatever the changes it has been introduced in the second stage it should be maintained for a reasonable period of time and how can he do that by giving them again financial and non financial incentive to the subordinates all right i hope these three points are clear to you i didn't tell you one thing i'm so sorry i forgot to tell you very 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 important topic for the examination purpose for both objective as well as for answer writing perspective do not miss this topic no matter what you read or not read all right i hope you like this short video please do let me know in the comment section below whether you want an answer writing video in the next session or maybe a case study based question let me know you are the king here all right so i'm leaving thank you so much and all the very best for examination see you super soon maybe soon after your selection all right bye Have a nice day.